Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to prep your domestic machine to free motion quilt. Now, this little sample video is a part of my trippy quilt class that releases on July 8th, 2022. And um, within that in that class, it's all about making the trippy quilt, but there's a lesson within that class that just covers free motion quilting, where I show you just basic stitches, um, how to get started, and then I let you follow along as I actually quilt on my own trippy quilt. But today, I'm just gonna give you a really small sample of that lesson, and it's just about prepping your machine. So let me show you. So I'm just gonna show you um, what it looks like on my machine. I realize that it's gonna be different for every machine, but we're talking about getting our machine ready for free motion quilting. And you should have a section in your manual um, to uh, work yourself through this um, if you've never done it before um, and because uh, there are a few things that you need to do um, and uh, if you if you've lost your manual or you or you've bought your machine secondhand and it doesn't it didn't come with a manual most of the time you can look up a manual online so for me um, I would be looking up, you know, Juki and then the the model number. So brand Juki, model number TL2000. So that's how I would um, look up my manual. So you want to put your brand and your model of machine in a Google search and then uh, look up manuals. So that's one, one way to do it if you don't have one. The second is that almost, almost all modern machines come with a feature called dropping your feed dog this right here um, and and on my machine it's this right here so so what that means to be able to free motion you have to be able to drop your feed dog and what that means is that the machine is not going to pull your fabric back um, it just kind of sits there it, it not, there's no there's no teeth popped up like right there see those teeth above the surface that means that the machine is pulling your it's feeding your patchwork or fabric or quilt sandwich through uh, your machine. Whereas if you turn them off, it means that it no longer feeds your fabric through the machine. Your fabric will just sit there. So let me put them back on. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So pay attention right here. Um, all right, so that is my feed dogs up. You can see the little teeth of the feeding system. And this is the thing, this is the little contraption that actually feeds your fabric through the machine. And when I turn that switch to turn my feed dog off, you see it drops below the surface and it no longer will move my uh, uh, fabric through. Um, now, I have had a lot of different machines and I've never had a machine, even a really, really cheap machine, I've never had one that d doesn't offer this um, feature. I have several antique sewing machines. They offer this feature. So I think you'll be hard pressed to find a machine that doesn't, but there are machines out there that don't. So you definitely want to read up your manual uh, and find out if your machine offers this feature. All right, so the second thing that you need is this foot or something similar to this foot. And this is called, um, this is sometimes called a darning foot. Uh, usually in old literature, it's called a darning foot. In modern literature, it seems to be called a free motion foot, but it almost always ha looks like this. Now this piece, this piece right here has different looks to it. Sometimes it has an open right here. Sometimes it's a spoon. There's a lot of looks in this, but this, this is basically the way they all look. Um, and you, you'll have to have something similar to this to free motion. So you, you need a machine that has two things. You need to be able to drop your feed dogs and you need a foot like this. If your machine doesn't come with a foot like this, you can buy one. So buy one if you can. Um, let's, let me show you how to get this foot on. All right, so again, this is different from machine to machine. But I'm 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 going to be quilting on a Juki, and this is a domestic sewing machine. And all I need to do is unscrew the foot that is currently on, and then I just pop this one on, just like that, and then screw it on really tight, and use my screwdriver to get it even tighter. Okay. All right. So now my machine is ready to free motion. 
Um, so if you have been struggling um, with learning how to prep your machine, I hope this video was really helpful for you. Um, if you are really interested in getting, getting going and are looking for some free tutorials, and you're watching this on my blog, um, you can go to the top of the blog and hit tutorials, scroll down to free motion quilting and click that, and all of my free motion quilting videos will pop up. I have a lot of them. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the playlist and go to free motion quilting and they're all there as well. Um, if you are interested in trippy class, and I hope you will be because it's it's a fun class, it's, it's a really fun quilt to put together. And um, it just leaves a lot of place for play and I know I didn't talk about it much in this in this video here but um, you can go to my quilt class website it's where all of my paid classes live and um, you can read all about the class and there is a big chunk of the class that's dedicated to free motion quilting so you can read about it on the quilt class website and browse around at some of my other classes that I'm offering and I hope you'll do that um, I'll go ahead and put the quilt class web, web address right down here so you'll have it. Um, but if you're watching if you're watching this on YouTube, you can, there's a link to this in the caption. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.